welcome to video class students today we'll find out median for a grouped data through a graph paper so for that we have to prepare a table first of all so this is the table first we'll prepare a table so it is given that the lower bound and upper bound is given this is the class interval class interval is from 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 40 to 50 and 50 to 60 now frequency is also given the frequency is 3 2 3 7 2 and 3 so for that first we have to take the lower bound the lower bound is 0 10 20 30 40 50 this is the lower bound and this is the more than cumulative frequency. So for more than cumulative frequency, we have to write like a, from down we have to prepare. See here, frequency column, you carefully observe the frequency column. The last value is three. So for the more than cumulative frequency, we'll add up from the bottom of the column. See like three, We'll put same 3 and we'll get the next value as by adding 3 plus 2 that is equal to 5. Again 5 plus 7 you'll get 12. 12 plus 3 it is 15. 15 plus 2 it is 17. 17 plus 3 it is 20. So this is the more than cumulative frequency. Here it is more. So you, you should get more value here when compared to the last value and uh, upper bound upper bound is this is upper bound that is 10 20 30 40 50 60 this is the upper bound so we'll write upper bound here and less than cumulative frequency less 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 means here it should be less value that is from top to bottom we have to add like this again you look at the frequency column the first value is 3 we we'll put as it is 3 and we'll add 3 plus 2 that is equal to 5 5 plus 3 it is 8 8 plus 7 it is 15 15 plus 2 17 17 plus 3 20 so you may get a doubt whether we have prepared correctly or not so for that verification here you got 20 here in the upper portion upper column and the upper the value is 20 now the down you should get the same value so these two values should coincide with each other so our calculation is 100 percent correct now we'll write the uh, more than cumulative frequency points that is will show the that is the lower bound will show the lower bound on the x-axis and the more than cumulative frequency values on the y-axis isn't it so the low the lower bound the lower bound values that is x coordinate and more than cumulative frequency will show on the y-axis so this is y coordinate values like that we have to prepare a column like this again less than cumulative frequency points for this again here upper bound are the x coordinates and less than cumulative frequency points so the that will be the y coordinates so initially you have to prepare a table like this this is a work before moving on to the graph we have to prepare a table like this now we'll plot these points on the graph now look at the graph now look at this graph so the, these are the points we got here are the points this is the table which is given in the question paper so for that the previous work what we have to do the same thing i have posted here also so the more than cumulative frequency points and less than cumulative frequency points 
So look at the points carefully. 0 and 20. X coordinate is 0 and Y coordinate is 20. So this is the point. Again 10, 17. See here. The red pointed points are more than cumulative frequency points. 10, 17. And this one is 20, 15. And look at this carefully. Here it is 30 and 12. And here, look here. This one is 30, 30 and 12. And here it is 40 and here it is 5. And here it is 50 and this one is 3. So these are the points and we'll see the less than cumulative frequency points also. So 10, X is 10 and Y is 3. See here, X is 10 and Y is 3. We have taken the Y axis scale as two units per one centimeter. See here, two, four, six, like two table we can take here. So one centimeter is equal to two units. On the y-axis, we have taken one centimeter is equal to five units. So here, 10, 3. X is 10 and y is 3. 20, 5. X is 20 and y is 5. Here, 30 and 8. See here, this is 30 and this one is 8. Again, this one is 40 and here it is 5. Look carefully. Look carefully. Again, this one is 50 and it is... So here, this is 40. 40 and the point here it is... Here it is. 40 comma 15 right like this again look here this one 60 and 20 this is 60 and here it is 20 right so we have kept the points we have marked the points on the graph paper now we'll slowly join these these points like this one is more than cumulative frequency curve. Let us see how it will form. So this is slowly we'll join to two points together like this. The red line is more than cumulative frequency curve and we'll draw the less than cumulative frequency curve also like this. Slowly we'll join and we'll put the intersecting point that is this intersection of more than cumulative frequency and less than cumulative frequency that is the point this one is intersecting point and what we'll do we'll draw a parallel line that is a perpendicular line to x-axis through this point like this we will draw a line so this is the line ab is the line which is perpendicular to x-axis and this line is passing through the this intersecting point. So the coordinate x-coordinate is nothing but the median value. So easily you can find out the median. The median for this problem is 33. So when you draw the perpendicular line from the intersecting point like when you draw the perpendicular line through this intersecting point, the point which show on the x-axis is nothing but the median value. The median is 33. So this is the problem. And this is the median. How to find out the median for a group data. Okay. Thank you.